So I have observed that many people are complaining that after using the Cloudflare warp tool, this code or ride client is not launching. I had a lengthy discussion with one of my viewers on Twitter about this and I did my best to explain the actual cause behind this. Let me show you and then after that I will show you how to resolve this issue. So not the warp tool is a type of cloudflare vpn that also provides dns service when you connect to it your pc ip addresses change automatically and until you disconnect it those changes persist if you close cloudflare warp tool without disconnecting the ip and configuration details still remain on your pc sometimes this can cause glitches preventing you from browsing on your pc the same issue occurs when you use proxies so always remember to first disconnect the proxy or cloudflare warp tool or even the vpn uh, before using your internet now the thing is let me show you here i'm connecting it it's connected now let me show you what happened if i use the cloudflare warp tool here's the configuration you can see ip settings ip assignment is now on cloudflare warp tool these are the cloudflare warp, uh, warp settings and uh, now i'm using cloudflare warp warp tool actually when i close it somehow like just clicking here and then click on this and then exit or just closing it from uh, you know the task manager just like this this settings still remain it will still like connect it you can see the setting is still saved Now I cannot say that I'm using my router IP addresses uh, and DNS just because the Cloudflare is still connected and when I just relaunch the Cloudflare it will be connected. You can see it's connected. So what we are doing here first disconnect and then click on exit and that's it. Now let me show you go back and reopening this. Now you can see IP assignment is back on automatic DHCP. Now automatically DHCP means your windows uh, taking each and everything uh, like router configuration, internet configuration from your router. So that's how you can fix this problem. Just disconnect first and then exit your Cloudflare warp tool. Now sometimes still it's make glitches. What you can do here, you need to open the CMD and type few commands. First, ipconfig slash release, then ipconfig slash renew. At first, uh, the first command will uh, make your internet stop working. The second command will renew your IP addresses. And third command, ipconfig slash flush DNS. And fourth command, ipconfig slash register dns fourth command will not work if you don't run cmd as administrator as in my case as you can see the request operation required requires elevation so basically you need to launch the cmd as an administrator once you launch it administratorly now you can see ipconfig slash register dns and it's working okay now I know it's kind of waste of time like it's take time to type all the commands so what you can do here open notepad type four commands you can copy uh, commands from description release ipconfig slash renew ipconfig slash flush dns ipconfig slash uh, register dns and then click on file then save on desktop uh, save as type all files you can type any name network uh, and then dot bat and then hit enter it will save the file in a dot batch file extension windows batch file now the best thing is just simply you need to right click on this and run as administrator it will apply all the commands for you you don't need to type each and every command one by one and uh, after applying all these commands it will close that's it the one more thing if you are using proxy sometimes it's happening with proxy or vpn so what you need to do here click on the windows icon internet option and open it once you open this first you need to delete browsing history just select all these options and click on delete hit apply go into the settings and select here never save uh, your cache or history and uh, click ok 
now you need to go into the connection make sure if there's any dial up just choose that and remove it now go into the local area network lens settings maybe you will see here like this and configure some something like some ip addresses and ip address powers etc you need to uncheck these options just check only automatically detect settings and click on ok and that's it that's how you can fix your problem if you have any other question please let me know in the comment section we will respond to you as soon as possible until then just take yourself allah face bye bye